c'est lundi le 20 avril aujourd'hui. C'est une belle journée dehors. Il vente un peu, mais c'est pas grave. Il fait soleil. Aujourd'hui, Madame Julie est un peu triste. Parfois, il se passe des choses sur la planète, puis ça nous rend triste. Mais il faut être fait il faut être fait fort, il faut être fort, il faut travailler fort pour continuer à garder le sourire puis à rendre les gens autour de nous heureux. Il hein? faut être heureux aussi dans notre cœur. Aujourd'hui, j'ai trouvé le livre parfait pour te lire ce que je ressens. Ça fait du bien, un livre comme ça. Je te lis avec tout mon amour. Ok. Pour commencer la semaine, je te lis au cœur des mots. Mmh. Peut-être que tu as déjà vu ce livre. C'est un livre qui est rempli de bonheur. Mmh. Il a été écrit par Kate Jane Neal. Et ça dit ici, rendons le monde plus joyeux. Ah, C'est une bonne idée. Hein? Au cœur des mots. Voici un livre au sujet de ton cœur. Oh, ton cœur. Mm. Tu sais, c'est la petite chose qui te rend unique. Chacun, chacune a un cœur qui fait que tu es toi. Chaque personne est unique. Chaque personne a son cœur. Écoute très attentivement. Parce que c'est très important. C'est très important. Tu vois comment c'est écrit? Ça commence petit et ça devient grand. C'est très important. Ça peut vous rendre plus heureux, toi et ton entourage. Regarde son cœur. Ça peut vous rendre plus heureux, toi et ton entourage. Tu vois, les mots qui parviennent à tes oreilles peuvent avoir un effet sur ton cœur. C'est vrai. Si je dis un mot, ça vient à ton oreille. Et tout de suite, ça donne un effet à ton cœur. Tu sais, cette petite chose qui te rend unique. Tu sais, ton cœur te rend unique. Ce qui fait que tu es toi. Mm. Tes mots peuvent faire des choses incroyables. Oh, oui, les mots sont mm, puissants. Ça peut faire des choses incroyables. J'adore cette image. Tu sais comment j'aime les étoiles. Hein? Ils peuvent décrire des choses très grandes. Parfois, un petit mot peut décrire quelque chose qui est immense ou toute petite. Tu vois, le mot « arbre », regarde, c'est grand, mais c'est un petit mot. « Noisette », regarde, et c'est tout petit. Ils peuvent expliquer des phénomènes qui font « Ou flap, ding, ping. Oh, regarde les feux d'artifice. Oh. Ou te faire voler dans les airs. Oh. J'adore le livre. Il y a du blanc, du noir et du rouge. Les mots peuvent te rendre heureux et te donner envie de chanter. La, 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 la. <rire> Est-ce que ça t'arrive parfois? Hein? Oh oui. Regarde ton cœur. Tu vois, parfois ça te donne le goût de chanter. Mais parfois les mots, les mots peuvent nous faire pleurer. Mm -hmm. Nous savons tous de quelle sorte de mots il s'agit. 
Parfois, les mots peuvent être comme une flèche meurtrière qui transperce le cœur des gens. Tu sais, cette petite chose, cette petite partie d'eux qui les rend uniques. Parfois, si tu dis des mots qui blessent, qu'est-ce que ça blesse? Ça blesse ton cœur. Cette petite chose qui te rend unique. Hmm? Tu vois, si des mauvais mots sont prononcés envers quelqu'un, C'est ça que ça fait. Mm. C'est triste. Et certains mots peuvent vraiment faire du mal. Du mal pour toujours. Mm. Ça fait de la peine quand on entend ces mauvais mots. Tes mots ont un immense pouvoir. Mm -hmm. ta -da -da! Ils peuvent bel et bien avoir un effet sur le cœur des gens. Tu sais, cette petite chose qui te rend unique. Ils ont un énorme pouvoir. Oh, un pouvoir oh, qui te donne un effet sur le cœur des gens. Mais, quand quelqu'un a le cœur serré, tes mots, tes mots peuvent le réconforter. Quand quelqu'un se sent faible, tes mots peuvent lui redonner des forces. Tu sais, les mots, quand tu as de la peine, tu as un ami qui a de la peine. Si tu lui dis « ça va bien aller, je suis là avec toi, je vais t'aider », regarde quest ce que ça fait. Ça fait un sourire, puis cette petite chose qui est ton cœur devient remplie de joie. Mmh. Si tu te sens faible, quelqu'un peut t'aider. Et regarde, ça peut t'aider à continuer. Mm. Quand quelqu'un veut abandonner, tes mots peuvent l'aider à continuer. Le faire sourire, le faire rire, le faire éclater de rire. Oh, oh, oh oui! N'abandonne hein? pas, tu es capable Regarde, tu es capable de continuer. Avec des mots, on peut tout faire changer des situations. Hein? On peut faire sourire, on peut faire rire et on peut faire éclater de rire. Oh oui, ça c'est drôle. Quand on se roule à terre, tellement c'est drôle. <rire> ça t'arrive parfois. Tu vois ce que nous voulons dire? Tes mots sont prodigieux et puissants. Tu vois? Tous les mots que tu utilises sont prodigieux et puissants. Hmm? Et si nous utilisions tous nos mots pour prendre soin du cœur des autres? Tu sais, la petite partie qui nous rend si unique. Essayons ensemble de faire changer les choses. Tous ces mots magiques qui peuvent nous rendre heureux et nous faire garder le sourire. Malgré tout, avec tout. Tu vois, ce petit cœur-là qui nous rend unique. Aujourd'hui, le monde de quelqu'un d'autre peut devenir meilleur grâce à toi. Cette idée réchauffe le cœur. Tu ne trouves pas? Regarde. Tes mots sont tellement puissants qu'ils peuvent aider tous les gens autour de toi. Tous les gens. Si je dis à quelqu'un aujourd'hui, « Je t'aime. »« Je t'aime. » Ou « Ça va bien aller. » Ça va bien aller. Ou juste sourire. Les amis, aujourd'hui, ça va bien aller. Tu passes une bonne journée, un bon lundi. N'oublie pas, tu sais ce que je veux dire. Lave tes mains, frotte tes mains. Et si tu vas jouer dehors par cette magnifique journée, et les amis, Demande à papa et maman. Hmm? 
c'est important de rester autour de la maison. Et n'oublie pas d'utiliser des mots magiques aujourd'hui. Des mots qui font qu'ils viennent de ton cœur et qui réchauffent ton cœur. Je t'aime et je te vois demain matin. Demain matin. Bonne journée, les amis. Je t'embrasse. Maeve and I are going to share Everybody's Different on Everybody's Street. And this is by Sherry Fitch. And the art is by Emma Fitzgerald. No. And it's published by Nimbus Publishing. So it's an East Coast book, which is great. And it's one that I'm sure many of you have read before. Um, but we're going to share it today. If ever you go traveling on Everybody's Street, you'll see Everybody's Different than everyone you meet. Some lope along giraffe like, some shuffle hippopotami, some strut about like peacocks, others ostrich shy, some yap like wee chihuahuas, some flap like cawing crows, some are meditating dolphins, others tortoise, turtle, slow, some thunder walk like elephants, some dance about like ants. Some are wearing purple polka dotted zebra striped pants. Oh my goodness. Yes, some are wearing purple polka dotted zebra striped pants. So many different people. If ever you go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Some live messy as tornadoes, some are paper clipping neat, some grow juicy red tomatoes, some don't have enough to eat. Some of us walk arabesque, some of us walk jive, some of us waltz weary, some of us survive. If ever you go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Some of us hold bags of hope like babies in our arms. Some hop over sidewalk cracks in search of good luck charms. Some are hiding pride inside. We're human helium balloons. Some of us don't love ourselves. Some migrate to the moon. Some of us wear hats of worry seven stories high. Most of us are in a hurry. We often don't know why. We often don't know why. Whenever you go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Some give compliments and bear hugs, some are aching for applause. All of us are perfect and all of us have flaws. If ever you go traveling on everybody's street, You'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Reading stories at bedtime. Some are cuddly koalas looking for a, some special one. Some of us have family, some of us have none. Some are alligator angry, some orangutans at play. Some are bored as buffaloes, some hummingbirds that prey. Some of us have vision, some of us have schemes, most of us have wishes, all of us have dreams. If ever you go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Some of us prefer the sunshine, some live in dark. Some of us have shelter, some sleep in the park. Some of us, some are mad as thunder, some are sad as rain. Most of us are glad at times and all of us know pain. So, if ever you go traveling on everybody's street, this is what you come to understand. 
You are everybody and everyone you meet. That's what everybody knows down on everybody's street. Everyone is traveling on everybody's street, and everyone is everyone, and anyone you meet. The end. Yeah. Thank you for listening to us read Everybody's Different on Everybody's Street. Now I think I have to go read a few other books with Maeve now. from the Confederation Center Public Library. I hope everyone is doing well, staying at home, and um, I just thought I'd pop in and read you a book. So I'm gonna read Little Blue Truck Springtime from my personal collection. And uh, this book is written by Alice Shirtle. All right. Little Blue Truck is on the road, taking a drive with his good friend Toad. It's a yoo-hoo, sky blue, spring sing day. Who do you think they'll see along the way? Yoo-hoo, sheep, beep, beep, what's new? Let's like lift the flap and find out. A little white lamb and a twin lamb too. Who's out swimming in a line? <gasps> Yoo-hoo, duck and ducklings nine. Yoo-hoo goat, what do you say? Can the kids come out to play? There's the baby goats. They're called kids. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, cow, just munching corn. Yoo-hoo, little calf, just born. Mama pig, who's in your pen? Yoo-hoo, piglets, one, two, ten. Wow, that is a lot of babies. Should we count all the piglets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Ears and clover. That looks funny. Hippity hop. Yoo hoo, bunny. Oh, there's one. Oh. Bunny sister, bunny brother, and another, and another. What's this nestled in the grass? Check it out before we pass. Tap, tap, anybody home? Who's inside this smooth brown dome? Hmm, what could it be, do you know? Crickety crack, everybody shout. Yoo-hoo, chick, come on out. Yoo-hoo, sun, yoo-hoo, sky. Yoo-hoo, white clouds sailing by. Birds that sing, frogs that leap. Yoo-hoo, spring, beep, beep, beep. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story and um, stay home and stay safe and I hope you enjoy the spring weather. Bye for now.
Bonjour, and welcome back to Language for Boo. My name is Peter. How are you all doing? I hope you're still all healthy and staying safe and just doing your best. Uh, we here at Language for Boo, we're here for you. We're your EAL and FAL teachers. And remember, if you have a question, please email us at languageforboo at gmail.com. We want to hear from you, so ask us anything. You can send us any picture you want, or if you have a picture of a pet, even better. Um, today's episode, we are talking about music. You hear music with your ears, and you proudly hear music every day. Maybe you even play a musical instrument, like the piano, maybe a ukulele, or a violin, or maybe a guitar. I'm trying to learn the guitar, and it's taking some practice, but that's okay. Music is great because it helps us relax, it helps us have more energy, and it's fun to dance to. So in today's episode, we're going to be dealing a lot with music. And our first little video is from Mr. Adam, and he's got a springtime song. So let's get ready to listen. Hi, Mr. Adam. Hi, my name is Adam Bassett, and I'm the EAL itinerant teacher for West Prince. You know, I've really been enjoying the nice weather lately, so I thought I'd write a song about it and share it with you. I hope you like it. Oh, spring is here, it's such a wonderful time to get outside and see what you find. The birds are singing at the crack of dawn, and hey, look with the robin hop crawls along. I hope you have a wonderful day. The spring is here, it's time to play. To get outside and breathe fresh air, as the flowers bloom for the bees to share. So sing it with me, sing it clear. Spring is great, and I'm glad it's here. Things are getting green and it's great to see. I hope you think a moment and you sing with me. Springtime sun shines down, but rain will still be found. It falls and makes things grow. It melts away the snow. So get off the screen and then get outside. Hop in your bike and go for a ride. Spring is here, it's such a wonderful time. So happy to be playing underneath the sunshine. Don't get me wrong, the summer's really great. And when it comes, we can go for skate. The fall's okay and pretty too. But the spring night is the season for me and you. So sing it with me and sing it clear. Spring is great and I'm glad it's here. Things are getting green and it's great to see. I hope you take a moment and you sing with me. But rain will still be found It falls and makes things grow It melts away the snow So get off the screens and get outside Hop in your bike and go for a ride Spring is here, it's such a wonderful time So happy to play underneath the sunshine Spring time Take care, guys. We'll see you soon. My name is Claire, and I am 10 years old now. The instrument that I play uh, is called Gu Zheng and it's a Chinese instrument, and I love it. Um, I play Gu Zheng almost 
um, three and a half year. Oh, that's a long time. Uh, the song that I play is called Fight with Hurricane. Hello everyone, this is Ms. H from Stratford Elementary and I wanted to show you my ukulele or ukulele as some people call it. So an ukulele is like a little guitar um, and it's from a very special place very far from PEI. So if we look on our map here, we have Canada, of course, and where is our little island of PEI. So to get to Hawaii, where this instrument is from, you need to travel across Canada and then all the way down here to Hawaii. There are many different types of ukulele, but this is um, a very popular one, this size and this sound. So you can see on the ukulele there are four strings. And so we play these strings with our right hand. In our left hand, we play uh, up here, and we can play our notes. Now it's very important that the sound is very pretty, it sounds nice. Up here, we can change the sound, um, for example, sound quite so nice, does it? So we want to make sure that our instrument, our ukulele, is in tune. And that is the ukulele. Thanks for watching! Hi, my name is Karina. And I've been playing the violin for nine years, and today I'm going to play a duet for you by Mozart, and it's an upside-down duet that can be played upside-down. <laughs>
Today's Pets of PEI is Mr. Rabbit. He's a bunny who's almost two years old. He enjoys eating cherries and he loves digging holes in the backyard. His owners Annie and Hannah say he is funny. And I would say Mr. Rabbit, looking at these pictures, is living his best life. Thank you, Annie and Hannah, for sharing Mr. Rabbit. We want to see your pets, so please send pictures of your pets to us here at language at gmail.com. Remember to include your pet's name, how old they are, their favorite snack, what they like to do, and why you like your pet. We look forward to seeing all the great pets of Prince Edward Island. Thank you. Welcome to Drawing the Sounds. Today we're drawing Yasmin the Yak. This is Yasmin the Yak. To draw Yasmin, you will need a pencil, a pencil sharpener, an eraser, and a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline, and some color pencils or color markers to color but I will use a black marker so you can see what I'm doing. Yasmin the Yak starts with a big, long, round shape like an egg. Just like this. Yasmin has two big round eyes. We can make an eye by making a circle. One big round eye and another big round eye. Yasmin has eyelids. We can make a curving line to show her eyelids. And Yasmin has long eyelashes. One, two, three, and one. two, three. Yasmin has some light showing in her eyes. We can make a big bubble and a little bubble to show the light in her eyes. And the same in the other eye. A big bubble and a little bubble. And we can make a curving line in her eye and color it black. Just like this. And the same on the other eye. Yasmin has two ears. One ear and another ear. Yasmin has a wide nose. 
we can make a long curving line to show her nose. Yasmin has two holes in her nose called nostrils. One hole and one more hole. Yasmin has long hair. Yaks have long hair. We can make some bumpy lines to show her long hair. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Yasmin has big horns. A yak is like a cow and it has big horns. One horn and one more horn. Here is the color version of Yasmin the Yak. I colored her yellow and pink and gray for her horns and some blue in her hair and some purple for her eyelids and brown for her eyes. Now, the words Yasmin and Yak and yellow all start with the same sound, the Y sound. Do you know what letter makes the y sound? Yes, that's right. It's the letter Y. We can make a Y like this. That is an uppercase Y. And we can make a lowercase Y like this. Y, Yasmin, Y. Y, yellow, Y. Y, yak, Y. There are lots of other words that start with Y, but we only use the Y sound for Y at the beginning of a word, like yes, yesterday, yo-yo, or yak, or yasmin. Thank you for drawing with me today. You're here for a reason by Nancy Tillman. You're here for a reason. You certainly are. The world would be different without you by far. If not for your eyes and your hands and your feet, the world like a puzzle would be incomplete. Even the smallest of things that you do blossom and multiply far beyond you. A kindness, for instance, may triple for days or set things in motion in different ways. It travels much farther than you'll ever know, under the treetops, over the snow, till it's wandered and fluttered and floated and twirled, making things happen all over the world. You're here for a reason, it's totally true. You're part of a world that is counting on you. So don't be too worried if some days fall flat. Good things can happen, even from that. Life can be tricky, there isn't a doubt. You'll skin your knees trying to figure it out. But life works together, the good and the bad, the silly and awful, and happy and sad. To paint a big picture we can't always see. A picture that needs you most definitely. Remember that next time a day goes all wrong. To somebody else you will always be strong. And that ball that you lose or that kite you let go could make someone's day. You just never know. You're here for a reason. If you think you're not, 
I would just say that perhaps you forgot a piece of the world that is precious and dear would surely be missing if you weren't here. If not for your smile and your laugh and your heart, this place we call home would be minus a part. Thank goodness you're here. Thank goodness times two. I just can't imagine a world without you. The end. Thank you, Mr. Sheehan. That was fun. Here is my Yasmin the Yellow Yak. I still need to color it, but that's okay. Um, I also think I made her nose a little too big, but I can just draw it again. And that's okay, because we're just here to practice. Um, I put my uppercase Y here and my lowercase Y there. So we have Yasmin the Yellow Yak. And remember, we want to see your pictures of your drawings. So send them to languageforvu at gmail.com. And we'll try and put them on the show. That is all the time we have for today. So I want to thank our very talented musical guests. We had Mr. Adam, we had Ms. Jennifer, we had Karina with her Mozart, and we had Claire with her amazing string instrument. So, that's our episode. I just want to remind you, you know, we're all trying to get through this together, and we all will get through this together. So, stay safe, be kind, and do your best, and we'll see you next time on Language for Vu. Au revoir. Bye.